Mosta was selected by Greek because of its importance for debates of wartime destruction, of cultural heritage and its post-war reconstruction. Uh, with the case of Mostar and the Old Bridge, we wanted to investigate how the reconstruction of cultural heritage impacts on processes of identity building in societies after the war. Uh, we also aim to examine whether and how the reconstruction of cultural heritage can contribute to the reconciliation of divided communities after the war. And in that context, we also uh, sought to understand the role and impact uh, that uh, international invo involvement in such processes uh, may have. The beautiful Bridge of Mostar was a 16th century masterpiece of Ottoman architecture. It was before the war not only the pride of Mostarians, but also an internationally recognized uh, icon of the entire Yugoslavia. And for that reason, when it was destroyed by Croat artillery fire during the Bosnian War in November 93, not only the local community was shocked, but also the international public opinion. However, it's important to keep in mind that this was only the most visible internationally uh, destruction in Mostar. Uh, during the war in Mostar, all the bridges of the city were destroyed. Most uh, heritage objects were attacked and many were destroyed. First street fighting uh, scarred the city's buildings, military hostilities and ethnic cleansing cost the lives of thousands of Mostarians. And the city of Mostar itself was divided into a Bosnian Muslim East and a Bosnian Croat West. The destruction of the old bridge of Mostar was quickly interpreted internationally as an attack on Bosnian multi-ethnicity. And this view also influenced the way that the post-war reconstruction went. For example, various alternatives that were proposed uh, for, as solutions for the, for the old bridge. Like, for example, to keep the ruins of the old bridge as a reminder of human destructiveness or to construct an entirely new and modern bridge or to build a memorial were all outright rejected. Instead, what was uh, selected, the solution that was selected, was the construction of a replica of the old bridge. And through this new old bridge, the international community sought to promote uh, its political project in Bosnia. And that political project was the internationally driven post-conflict state building and reconciliation attempts in the country. The old bridge was supposed to symbolically reconnect the divided, divided sectors of the city and bring the communities together, the communities that were alienated by the war in Mostar. Now, what is important to stress here is that this symbolism was largely a novelty. The old bridge, of, of course, was before the war the city's landmark. It was not politicized or it was not associated to visions of uh, communal multi-ethnicity, inter-ethnic unity or even ideas of reconciliation. Therefore, the reconstructed old bridge was made after the war to perform symbolic functions that it had not previously held. Now, the local reception of the reconstruction of the old bridge was not what the international community would have wanted. Um, the reconstruction of the old bridge did not actually curtail the competition of ethnic communities in Mostar. The city itself, Mostar, remains one of the most contested locations in the country until today. Despite best intentions uh, by internationals, disputes over the reconstruction of the bridge but also over the, the symbolism of the, of the old bridge continue to this day. The city streets are filled with inflammatory nationalist uh, graffiti. Mostar's landscape has become a battleground for the symbolic competition of, of uh, group identities of, of, of the communities in, in Mostar. It's, you can say, a continuation of conflict uh, by other means or a continuation of conflict in peacetime. 
in fact reconstructed or newly constructed cultural heritage is central, is a key resource used uh, by different communities for the ethnic marking of territory in the city's landscape. The communal division is reflected also in the divergent attitudes towards the reconstructed old bridge. In the largely Croat West Mostar, the image of the old bridge is uh, virtually non-existent. In contrast, in largely Bosniak East Mostar, the image of the old bridge is present uh, virtually everywhere. It's in houses, in shops, in souvenirs, in posters, in graffiti, street signs, it's practically everywhere. And the old bridge also illuminates interesting intra-group dynamics and identity negotiation processes. For the Croat community in Mosta, the old bridge is, you can say, the big elephant in the room. Some still reject it as Bosniak and Ottoman heritage, while others try to revisit past attitudes and find uh, hist historical associations of the Croat community with the bridge. Among Bosniaks or pro-Bosnian members of other groups. Uh, also, the old bridge is contested. For some Bosniaks, for example, um, the old bridge is very important and it's appropriated as a, uh, a mainly Bosniak heritage that is connected to the Ottoman and Muslim legacy that is very important for, for Bosniaks. Others identify more with the, with the old bridge as a, as a site, as a symbol of inter-ethnic coexistence in Bosnia. And yet others upgrade the old bridge to a symbol of anti-fascism and the struggle against nationalism. The Greek research in Mostar clearly shows the power of cultural heritage to affect post-war societies. It also provides an explicit example of the difficulties and, in fact, unexpected outcomes uh, that you may encounter when heritage management is used to attempt social and political change. Our research shows this to be especially true when international organizations and outside groups are involved and they, they bring their own agenda for reconstruction. And that agenda uh, may go against the dominant trends of the society involved. The case of the Old Bridge also illustrates um, the crucial importance of the broad inclusion of, of the local community in consultations for heritage management. Finally, Creek research shows that the reconstruction of cultural heritage cannot, should not be a one-off activity. Uh, people continue to make sense of conflict through heritage over a long period. And for that re reason, reconstruction should be an ongoing process of support and guidance to the local community, uh, in a support to the long and difficult process of these communities dealing with its traumatic past.